to where this meeting is happening. Our city party leader is Moses Otangula and he is now speaking all the matter. Let's listen in. Who is not here? The Honorable Afro Munyi Kandui, who is not here, and the Honorable Olaga Loich from Kisumu West. And of course, my own deputy, Richard Momoima Onyonka of Kitutu Chache uh, East who is not here, he has apologies, we know where he is, and he's with us family. You have heard this morning that a grouping calling themselves NEC members of this party assembled in some five-star hotel after airlifting some impositors. We know the country is closed down. The air Travel is suspended. You can't fly to Mombasa, you can't fly to Kisumu or anywhere. They were uh, lifting people yesterday from Kisumu, from Mombasa, persons who are not officials of this party, persons who are not NEC members of this party. They booked them at a Radisson Blue Hotel uh, at the Arboretum and they detained them forcefully overnight and took them through an unlawful meeting where they purported to make decisions affecting this party without authority because they are not lawfully assembled and they have no authority to make such decisions. Consequent upon what has happened, NEC of the party has made decisions to discipline these truant and errant members. The party is a bastion of democracy. Our history as a party of change in this country is well known. A party that in the year 1993 was the only party that had members from each and every of the then eight provinces of Kenya. When I took over this party as party leader, this party had only one member of parliament. Today, we have 13 members of parliament, we have two governors, and we have 85 MCS countrywide. We boast of the debut speaker of Wajia being Fort Kenya. We boast of the debut speaker of Taita Taveta being Fort Kenya, and the rest, of course, uh, uh, in other areas where we have equal strength. We want to announce to our members countrywide that don't be any, in any state of panic. A lot of you have sent messages inquiring what is happening, whether there is a coup in the party. Coups are a cake. Coups are an anachronistic to good order. And coups are activities of cowards. This party has gone through grassroots elections. We have done elections all the way up to the counties. When Corona Challenge visited this country, we had already set a date for our NDC to go and elect national officials. Anybody, and I want to repeat, anybody who wants to run for a seat in Fort Kenya, including the seat of party leader, File your papers, let's meet at BOMAS when the date for elections is set and let the people make their choice. I have no doubt whatsoever that the good work I've done for this party, the delegates will give me an additional term to lead this great party. Consequent upon, <laughs> consequent upon what has unlawfully taken place, the neck of the party, which is the engine of running the party, has made certain decisions to instill discipline and order in the party. Before I tell you the changes, I want to take this single opportunity to salute my deputy, Richard Momoima Onyonka, who was put under immense pressure by these dark forces of evil to accept to be part of the treachery to the leadership of the party. He was offered money, he was handed all over until 
he acquired a different telephone number and switched off the numbers that they know. And as we speak, Richard Momoima Onyonga remains the hero of this party. Because Richard is well schooled in public life. He was my assistant minister in foreign affairs. I trained him properly. And when he had challenges at his election, we were all there for him. So following this, we want to tell you that the neck of the party has decided that the Secretary General David Eseli Simiyu, regrettably my close friend, my age mate, a man I grew up with, but when you choose the path of evil, the consequences await you. We have, as a party, suspended David Eseli Simiyu. He's no longer our Secretary General, and in his place, NEC has appointed Dr. Chris Wamalwa from Kimilini as our acting Secretary General until further communication will be given. Wafula Wamunyinyi, a man that has walked his life in my shadow for a long time, including but not limited to my appointing him a special envoy to the AU for Somalia. I'm told he's the one who has taken the seat of treachery this morning <laughs> and purported to be the party leader of Kenya. He, in this party, is the secretary for livestock and agriculture, a sectoral section like many other sectoral sections. We have forthwith suspended him and in his place we have appointed in acting capacity Mwishmiwa Vincent Kemosi Mogaka of West Mugirawa. He will act in that position until we hold elections. Cynthia Mutere, our nominated MCA from Busia, who has been supported by this party in many ways, again also cho joined the evil forces of treachery in attempting to destabilize the party. She has been the chair of the Women League of the party. We hereby announce her suspension and her place is taken by her deputy, the Honorable Rosalida Andambi, our nominated MCA from Kakamega, who also serves in Kakamega County Assembly on the Speaker's Panel. She's here with us. We want to thank members of the party from all over the country. And we want to repeat the trio of Governor Wycliffe Wangamati of Bungoma, Honorable David Eseli Simiu of Tongaren, and Honorable Wafula Wamunyinyi of Kandui. We want to tell them that Ford Kenya is not a Bungoma affair. Ford Kenya is a national party. That's why Vincent Kemosi from West Mugrango is here. That's why Mama Nasser Sahal is here. The chairman of the party in Transoya is here. The new Secretary General is from Transoya, and we have others from all over the country. For you, our organizing secretary, Chris Mandu, in fact, we've seen some fake minutes from the treacherous meeting alleging that Chris Mandu here is the one who proposed to Omunyi to become the, the, <laughs> the party leader. Chris is right here with us. This party belongs to the people of Kenya, to its members, and its members and only its members have the power and the right to decide who becomes a person to carry the privilege I carry to lead the party. And this privilege, I'll carry it with dignity, I'll carry it with honor, I'll carry it with respect, and I'll respect our forefathers who founded this party, toiled and moiled for democracy in this country. The late Jaramogo Gingo Dinga, the late Masinde Muliro, the late Kenneth Matiba, the late Martin Ishikuku, the founders of the original Ford, we salute the late Wamalwa Kijana, who led this party until he became the vice president of this country. He never attempted to stage coups in the party. People loved him, people elected him, people supported him. And that is what we stand for. We salute George Captain. We salute all our forefathers, gone and still living, who have been in this party for this long. We are saddened 
by uh, one of our former nominated members of parliament, Mzee Patrick Wangamati, whom we respected a lot, who thinks that uh, he has to chaperone his family to lead this party. Parties are not about families. Parties are about people who believe in democracy. So thank you very much, fellow Kenyans. Those of you who are watching from wherever, because I thank the media houses that have given us a life link to this, we want to encourage you and assure you that Ford